Kim. Yeah. We're here at a hotel in Wentzville, Missouri. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Uh, well, we, uh, how we got started was uh, in 2002, we had uh, lost our home because we got behind on our rent and everything, and so we had to vacate. And we've been bouncing from place to place since then. And we managed to get up enough money to we got another place in Rolling Meadows. And then I lost, or my husband got laid off from his job and we lost that again. So we're back to square one, moving from place to place and went, staying with friends a few times. And then we wound up having to go to the Salvation Army because I just, we wound up not having enough money to be able to do anything anymore. And uh, manager, I went back to work and everything and we started saving money up and got out of the Salvation Army. We came here and several times in the past four years, four or five years, and uh, I'm still working and trying to, you know, take care of my family and hopefully soon we find out if we, uh, when our name comes up on the Section 8 housing list, and hopefully we will get a, we will get in a place and keep it this time. Now, uh, when you say you're here with your family, there's five of you in one yes. small room. Yes. There's uh, a it's you, me, you, it's you. me, my husband, my uh, two daughters, and my granddaughter. And how old your granddaughter? She's four months old. Wow. And you're all living in one room. Yes. It's, 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 see, people don't see this. They they think of homelessness as that guy on the street corner. Yeah. They don't see this. No, they don't. And, uh, and they don't realize, you know, that there is more to just a single person on the streets. It can wind up being whole families. Right. And, um, uh, you know... To where this, kids, you know, kids have to go to school from different locations. Right. And you guys don't have transportation. Right now, no. Our transmission went out in our car. We're, we're trying to get, get the labor charge paid on that so right. we can get it back and get it legal and everything. And, you know, like I said... My daughter has been having to catch a bus here since we've been here, since she goes to school in Wentzville District. Uh, there's times where she's had to take a cab from the Salvation Army. And, you know, it's just, it's rough on teenagers right. have to take a, a cab well, to school. The, the, people might not understand, but right, they they, don't. They, you're the only one working and you work at McDonald's. Yes. So taking a cab takes money. Yes. <laughs> you know. And, and, and I mean, it's, at the Salvation Army, we didn't have to pay for it. The school district right. paid for it, but still, right. and now you're, it's the point of it. Right, and now here is, uh, you're in one of the better hotels because here, you know, Paul is arranged for churches to come feed every night. Yes. And, you know, it's it's one of the better places, clean yes. and, and seems a little safer. Yes. Um, but it's still I homeless. mean, I've, you it's know, still... I've offered to help the manage, management here. Uh, right. By cleaning rooms, whatever they need help with, I clean the breakfast room every night after the churches get done. Yeah, it's but you it's know. five of you. It's five of you yes. in this one little room. That's crazy. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I mean, luckily, there's agencies around that are willing to help me as far as diapers, wipes, formula for my right. granddaughter, because that gets costly. Right. Even though my daughter is on WIC. Uh, she only gets a limited amount per month, and my granddaughter goes through it fairly quick. What would you want people to know about homelessness? Uh, that, you know, there is families out there that there are some people that are sleeping in different locations in their cars with their kids. That, you know, it's like, you know, it, there's got to be other re ways that we can help, that we can be helped. There's got to be more, you know, facilities that can help, um, you know, lodging, anything that can help these, fam you know, the families right. that are homeless, that are trying to get back on their feet financially, to be able to get a home for their families, um, to you know, give their kids what they need. And I mean, especially with the holidays coming. If you had three wishes, what would they be? A car to be able to get around, a home, and a job for my husband. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome, Mark.